This is the Synology B drive, this little tiny thing. And it's a pretty cool device, but it's not for everybody. So what we're gonna do in this video is take a look at how to set it up, take a look at who should really use it, and then some areas of improvement. So before we look at how to set this up, I do have written instructions that I'll leave in the description of the video that you can follow along to. So in order to set this thing up, it's pretty easy. What you do is just plug it into your PC and then it has a B drive installer file. What you'll do is you'll double click that and then you'll install the application. One unfortunate thing is that you need a Synology account. It kind of makes sense, but I can understand that some people might not particularly like that but you sign in with your Synology account and then as soon as you do that, you can go through, install it, and you'll be brought to the main dashboard for Synology B Drive. From there, you have three main things that you can do. You can do a computer backup, a file sync, or a mobile transfer. We'll first take a look at the computer backup and the way that that works is you'll basically select the folders on your device that you wanna actually back up. As soon as you do that, you basically just select them and you select backup now. And at that point in the background, B Drive will automatically back those files up. It's extremely user friendly. Setting up a file sync is very similar as well. What you'll do is you'll basically go through, select a folder that you want to sync, or you can actually create a new folder. Uh, but the idea is that from that point forward, you'll have a folder on your PC that will automatically sync with your B drive. You can set up multiple tasks. So you can have a backup if you'd like, and you can have a sync. If you can't tell, the main selling point for Synology B drive is just how user-friendly it is. In a few clicks, we basically configured a full backup and we configured a full file sync. The final thing you can do is actually sync a mobile phone. Now, a few notes about this is the main goal of this is for you to be able to back up your photos, but you can sync files back and forth as well. The key is that it has to be on the same network. So a lot of people might think you can configure this, go out and then automatically sync files back and forth, but you can't. You might be able to do it if you set up a VPN, but that kind of defeats the purpose of this Synology B drive and basically how simple it is to use. But if you're on the same local network, you can sync files back and forth, or you can back up your photos. You do have to download the Synology B Drive mobile application, but as soon as you do that, you'll set it up to sync, and it's really that simple. So from a setup perspective, that's it. Those are the three main things that you can do, and as soon as you set that up, it will automatically run in the background, and you won't really have to do much, but you'll have a full backup, or a full sync as well as the mobile option. Now the B drive is not an external hard drive. It's really designed to be used with this Synology B drive application. You would not buy this thing to use it as an external hard drive, even though you could, I wouldn't recommend it. You really would buy it if you want to use it with the Synology B drive application. If you compare the price of an external hard drive and the Synology B drive, an external hard drive will beat it almost every time but you're not really buying it for the actual storage. You're buying it for the application. Similar to purchasing a Synology NAS because you have Synology DSM and it's just kind of the king in that space, you would purchase this because of how easy the actual application is to use. So there are a few areas for improvement and the first is macOS support. It is coming, but right now, as of the recording of this video, it is not available. The second thing is the actual storage size. So it comes in one terabyte and two terabyte varieties. I'd love to see a four terabyte option in the future, but the reality is for most users, two terabytes is gonna be more than enough. And one thing that I think would be cool is if they created a Synology B Drive NAS application. So at that point, what you could do is you can travel with this little thing, back up your data, and then as soon as you get home, it would automatically sync in the background to your NAS. I have no idea if they're doing that. I have no idea if they have any intentions of doing that. But I think that if they were to configure something like that, what it would allow is for more, we'll say power users that wouldn't necessarily buy this for its ease of use, to buy it for when they're traveling. If you have a laptop and you automatically back it up, but you know that when you get home, those files will back up to your NAS and then your NAS could potentially store more total versions of your files, I think it would really unlock the power of this. Because right now the biggest limitation is that for the most part, the total storage size is small. But if you connect it to a NAS that has you know, 10, 20 terabytes of data, 
you can store significantly more total versions of these files than you would be able to traditional. So is that a necessary improvement? No. Would it be a nice to have? I think so. So that naturally leads us into who is this device for? This device is for people who really need to back up their files, whether they know it or don't, and just want something that works. If you compare this to purchasing an external hard drive and then configuring some type of backup software, even that might be a little more complicated than Synology B drive. You basically purchase the device, you plug it in, install the file that's basically pre-configured there. And as soon as you do that, you'll be able to set up a backup task in a few minutes. It's really that simple. Ease of use is the main selling point of this. The second is people who travel. This thing is extremely portable. And if you're somebody that, for example, edits video files and you just wanna ensure that those files are syncing back and forth with your external hard drive, rather than storing the actual footage on your external hard drive, this is a great option. That sync tool is pretty cool. Now, like I said, this is not an external hard drive. At least it's not advertised as an external hard drive. You can use it as an external hard drive, would I purchase this for one? No, I wouldn't. But if you only need one or two terabytes of data and you want some of those backup features and then you also want a external hard drive to just store some files on, this is a great option. If you have a cloud backup destination or even if you own a Synology NAS and you regularly back up to it, if you're outside of your local network, depending on the actual network speeds wherever you are, that process might take forever or in some cases not even be possible. That's where this thing comes in. This little guy right here can fit in your pocket and it'll ensure that you back up your device wherever you are. So now that we looked at who this is for, let's look at who this is not for. If you don't care about ease of use, if you're somebody that can easily configure backup software and you just want an external hard drive when you're traveling, that will back up your laptop. Maybe the B drive isn't best for you. It works, it'll do everything, but you could probably save some money if you purchase an external hard drive and use other free backup software. So, would I recommend this? Yeah, I would. I actually really like it. I think it fills a gap there where you have people that need to back up their files, they don't know that they need to back up their files, but this right here is so easy to use that you can really walk anybody through it, even over the phone without seeing it. It's that simple. So the Synology B drive, in my opinion, is a pretty cool option for a lot of people. There are a lot of people that this is just not gonna work for. But I think if you want ease of use, if you want something you don't really have to think about, and if you want something that just comes predefined with software that you double click and you'll be able to back up your devices, this is a great option. So I'm hopeful that this video helped you out if you just wanted to see what the Synology B drive is, how it works, or if you're actually interested in purchasing it. Hopefully this video walked you through the entire thing. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if not, I will see you next time.